this is awkward. I don't know what made me decide to record. Actually, I do. I've been watching vlogs lately and I'm like, oh, I miss my vlogs. I don't care if anyone watches. I've just kind of been missing them lately. And I've had some life changes. I would like to tell no one on the internet. We still look crazy. What does my shirt say? I'm only talking to my dog. Sometimes we get some insensitive shirts and whatever. But my hair is done under here. I just got it done. I cut it off. You wanna see it? Oh, 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 okay. Don't mind my bald spot. I can't use my Bosley stuff because my hair is straight. Is it giving? Is it giving? Don't mind that, I'm cleaning a pot. I got stuff stuck on it. Should we do a middle? Anyways, I don't look crazy. Even my eyebrows are done. You can't really tell, but I'm a little press on, so I'm like. I just got this today from Amazon. It's lip stuff and my lips are dry. Oh, this is called, I think it's a Korean brand. I don't know. I've always wanted one of these. So I think Fenty has one. Oh yeah, I did too much. It was on the refrigerator too, so it's like extra cold. Ooh, I like that. This is kind of nice. But anyways, I just felt like recording myself tonight and I'm doing so. I'm not really doing anything. My parents are out of town. I still live at home. Who would have thunk six years ago? I started recording YouTube videos thinking I was gonna be the most hottest vlogger ever that I'd still be living at home. But a few life changes. Um, I started school again. I'm just going for a little HR certificate and then next year, if all goes as planned and I don't die, I'll start my bachelor's. Who would have ever thunk it? 30 years old. Going back to school is so much fun. Um, I actually hated this my first time in my life ever being full time and baby, I don't, I, mm, maybe it's because I'm working full time. Maybe it's because I haven't been in school for so long, but it's rough. It's really rough. I had, I started school roughly a month ago. I've had probably two to three mental breakdowns, especially when that time of the month comes around. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's not fun. Fun story. I started seeing the dietitian, and why did I still start talking about this? Oh, probably because I felt like crap all day today. I started seeing a dietitian, and I had to take a test. I've been mean, like, this is so boring. I should be doing something. I had to take a test um, to see what I was sensitive to in my stomach or whatever. Dairy, gluten, and eggs. I really don't count eggs because I don't, I mean, I eat eggs, <laughs> whatever. But it's dairy, gluten, eggs are the big main three. So I cut them out of my diet. I'm so so mad that I feel amazing. Like I haven't lost any weight, but I feel amazing. Like I'm like, is this what it's like to not have intestinal problems? Are there people just walking this earth that can just eat and not feel like shit afterwards? I was like, must be nice. And it's great, I'm not gonna lie to you. I wish I could eat the things I wanna eat, but this is great. But today I had crab rangoons. My stomach, all day. I've eaten once today. So my stomach has been iffy all day my body said bitch you tried it it's been like three weeks and honestly i was supposed to like have mental clarity i was supposed to stop having brain fog nope still stupid but i don't have liquid shits anymore so kind of worth it um but life is still shitty life is still the same still in debt i'm just adding more debt by going to school by seeing a dietitian you know money's fake you know, I mean, if anyone wants to give me like 25K, I wouldn't say no. <laughs> Let me know. I'll give you my PayPal, Cash App, Venmo. But yeah, I was coming on here. I might vlog the rest of the weekend since I'm home alone. I'm really not doing anything. Is that sweat? I was like, I don't sweat under my, I mean, I sweat, but I don't get like sweat stains under my armpits. Tomorrow I have plans of a couple things and then I have to come home and do homework. Mm -hmm. But I may go to a cafe. Just You know, maybe, maybe, probably not. 
I don't know why I'm feeling kind of crackheady. But yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now because no one wants to sit here and listen to someone they don't know speak about shit they quite frankly don't give a crap about. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow. Maybe I'll delete this video. Who knows? Okay, so we're back from our day. It was fun. I went to lunch, like I said, with my old coworker had a nice chat it was lovely and then i was able to leave just in time to see my best friend's daughter play a volleyball it was great it was a great day um now i have to do homework and i'm not really excited about it but education and all oh wait <laughs> anyways i got some stuff it's not interesting I had the birthday gift from last month that was going to expire today. So I just got this little travel um, body spray. And the rest in here are plugins. I actually changed the plugin yesterday in the front room. And it is uh, Lakeside Morning. Baby, the whole front room, all the way over here, even into my bedroom, I smelled it. It smells so freaking good. We've been obsessed with this scent, the white tea sage scent but it doesn't throw like there's no i don't know if it's called throw when it's not a candle but there's no like like in the bathroom you can smell it a little bit but like you put it throughout your house you really can't smell it that much but it smells so good this smells just like um the white tea scent from weston hold on let me get the it's not the weston one hold on this plug-in and this weston hotel's white tea they smell very similar. They smell so freaking good. I don't know what the actual Weston one smells like. This one's from, I have no idea. That's annoying. I don't know what that says. It smells so, it smells so freaking good. I put that in the diffuser. Oh, amazing. And then this one smells good too. This was just Weston Hotels, same company. This one smells good. It smells a little different, but it still smells really good. It smells like, I don't know what scent notes it is, but it smells like freaking delicious. This one also smells good. When I went to Jamaica last year, the bathroom downstairs smelled like this. Everyone kept talking about volcano. So I was like, what's volcano? What's volcano? So I ended up getting it. And this just smells fruity, citrusy, like a tropical fruit punch. Oh my God, it smells so good. This is the one I've been using in my bathroom because I just, I need to smell it all the time. I go back and forth between these two. Heaven on earth, heaven on earth. I even got this one, it's called Air Scent. It's off of Amazon. And then I got this one just to like see because this one smells so good. The Weston one smells so good. So this one, they have like different, a couple different sets, but this one has the Wynn Las Vegas, Weston Hotels, One Hotel Miami Beach, Marriott Beach Villas, Aria Hotel. These smell good. I don't know if I love them as much as the Weston ones. Probably wouldn't buy all of these like full size but these two yes absolutely does it who who cares bro this is crazy anyways i'm gonna go change oh, my boobs look big i'm gonna go throw a load of laundry in the wash and then probably do the dishes no i'm not so what i found out if you're in school and you have like a very short attention span literally set like a 30 minute timer do what you can in that 30 minutes get up release the whatever's in your brain and then go and then go back to your work. So I'll probably put a load in, change, do homework for 30 to 45 minutes, come back, do the dishes, go back to my work until the washer's done, go do the washer and just like break it up. Just don't sit there for like 10 hours, just type it away actually like break it up and it's not as daunting. I don't know. It's like just getting like the wiggles out or something like that. I don't know. But before I go, truly love my hair. Like, it's so fire. It's so fire. I'm just gonna burn all my curls off with ironing my hair out constantly because I love it. But watching Alexander Rodriguez uh, vlogs from last year, she cut her hair right as I was watching her. Like I cut my hair the day before that I'm watching her vlogs from a year ago. And she cut her hair too to like this length. And she's just like, I think I wanna go shorter. I think I wanna go shorter. And she ended up going shorter. I was like, I wanted to go shorter too. So I think I'm gonna go a little shorter. Cause I feel like it's like that awkward length where it's like, you know, but it's so fire. I 
love I love it. I love short hair. I love long hair as well, but I'm just like, if I want long hair, I can just sew that shit in. I can just get a wig. I have weave. Like I can just get it put into my head. Like short hair, especially when you're curly, is so much easier to take care of as well. Being a natural, I don't care if you have tight curls, semi-tight curls, oh, loose curls, any type of curly hair pattern is so hard to take care of. Your hair is so dry, so brittle. Oil doesn't moisturize. You gotta use creams. You gotta put oil on top of it. And you gotta wet your hair every day because the curls don't <sighs> burn my fucking curls out of my head at this point. If I want curly hair again, I'll cut it all off. Oh, just, this is all I wanna do. All day, all day, all day, all day. Oh, anyways, and your hair looks so much thicker when it's short, like, huh. okay, anyways, I'm gonna go do homework and, and probably watch Vampire Diaries while I'm doing my work because I saw a video of Ian Shum, 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 whatever, Damien, and I was like, <laughs> let me watch it again. I saw it on Tiki Talk and I said, what do I? He was like dancing with his old self and then like it cut back to him in the vampire diaries when he's damien he's just like on the table with his like six pack just i was like what yeah let me go watch that again i've been wanting to watch it anyway because i want to finish the original so it's like this, this works out then i can finish the legacies because i never finished the legacies and i don't get me started let me shut up anyways so I just realized actually the one in my bathroom needs to be changed and I have these Halloween ones from last year. This one is a skull with the flower. This gives me twilight. I might do this one even though it doesn't match my bathroom. I might do this one. And then I have this one. Wait, this one has a nightlight. Does this one have nightlight? Oh yeah, they both have nightlights. Then I have this one. I might put this one in my room, but it has a nightlight and I just, I don't like it. Oh, and there's this one. This one is the, I think it's a skull with a crown. That'll be cute. I might save that for when I move out. I'll probably save these for when I move out. God willing, I'm still alive by the time I'm able to move out. I wish they all didn't light up because I want one of these in my room, but I'll do this one in the bathroom because it's so big. I appear, ooh, let's see. What was I saying? God willing, I'm still alive. Duh, you have to be alive to move out, but hopefully I can do that before I'm on my fucking deathbed. What you did it, dude? This is so sick, look at this. I know I have a problem, I am the problem, but I genuinely love scents. Like I love to smell things. I, I either, I need it to smell like absolutely nothing or smell like a good, delicious scent. So those are glades. I don't really like them, but I use them because I don't want them to go to waste. But these are all the plugins I have from Bath and Body Works. That's not including the ones I just bought. Who has a problem? I have a problem. Hey Tiana, why can't you move out? Why, why are you still living at home at 40 years old? That's why. Am I the problem? Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure, you are the problem. I'm trying to stop touching my hair because it gets greasy really fast, but it's like, it's hot, it's hot. Dang it, I hate when this happens. Catfish, catfish, that cat tuna. Is anyone getting the new iPhone? I have my iPhone is paid off because I didn't I skip every other year. I didn't get last year's iPhone. I got the year before because I personally like to keep all my phones. But see, I wanted last year's one when they brought out that pink color. But that pink one was so cute. So if they come out with another pink one, I might do that one. Okay, come with me. Since it says, please don't look at our house. Um, we're all kind of hoarders. Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh. I thought it was supposed to like. Wait. Let me turn my light off. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. Hold on. You can kind of. Can you kind of see it back there? The little face, kind of. I don't know. I don't think that's actually gonna smell very good with the volcano. So I might have to take my diffuser out. Yes, I have a diffuser and a plug-in again. If I die, it's gonna be because of the scents. I love scents. Everything needs to be scented. If I bought the garbage bags in this house, they would be scented. Don't even get me started about luxury. I'm very, 
very serious about laundry. I need my laundry to smell good. And my laundry smells delicious, delightful, amazing, without even using fabric softener. But anyways, I'm gonna go do my homework, like I said. I said it what? 25 times? Okay, so, yep, I'll see you guys later. Ugh, so annoying. Bro, my computer was trying to act funny just now. Almost had a heart attack. I almost had a heart I don't even use it. That's the crazy thing. This is the first time I'm actively, truly using it. It was just sitting there. When did I buy it? Oh, was it 2020? Is this four years old? I have it in an old video, but I privated all my videos. But like, come on, the TV's not working either. What the fuck? Oh, there it is. We don't got sand for problems. Report, absolutely report that shit. You shut your face right now. You shut your face right now. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. At legal party? Oh, okay. It is what it is. They love each other deep down where it counts, right? Yeah. I'm watching Alex. Just one episode. What? Just one vlog. Just one vlog. And then I'm gonna go to Vampire Diaries because I can actually, I actually watch these. And I don't like doing two things at once. So, Vampire Diaries, I can do that. I don't need to be like really paying attention to it. So I'm done with my homework, kind of. I had an extension on one thing. I just. I'm sleeping. I, I just, I can't. I'm really struggling with the way that I look right now. That's insane. Like, I'm like, I just take a picture of myself. I'm like, do I look like that? Anyways, happy Monday. Oh, I got this drink from Duncan. I'm not supposed to be drinking it because I'm pretty sure it's cow milk, but it is called a dunk -a latte I saw it on TikTok and was like, I have to try it. It's espresso and coffee milk, and I do not care for Duncan coffee. I don't care for it at all. So, let's see. Mmm. Mmm. That's really good. Mmm. That's good. Oh my god. Okay. Let those sit. Mmm. Okay. But anyways, um, yesterday I made a DoorDash order. I don't know. I was vlogging yesterday and this week, and I'm like, you are so boring. And I was like, you're boring because you don't actually do anything. You just stand in front of the camera and talk. That's why your vlogs are boring. So yesterday, I uh, placed a DoorDash order for Sweet Lauren's cookies, and they didn't have them. So I came to the older people area that I live in and see if they have them there. I never shop at Safeway because it's expensive. So we're gonna go in there and I also they had like a really good gluten-free section so I'm gonna get a couple things from there maybe like a couple things to eat this week so we'll see we'll do a haul once I'm done but I'm gonna go run in there really quick and see what they have I just cannot believe I look like this I'm like is it the camera is it me it's just like all this is dark and then like all the things that like the pores in my nose like Okay, I'm gonna go check and see what they have. dog ran outside i was trying to be like aesthetic and cute a damn dog ran outside okay so i actually just got back from safeway tried to be cute and aesthetic like i said speckles ruined everything he had other plans but um, i have to show this first deal because it was so amazing i got these i got all of these for how many monies 
how many monies? Four monies. Four dollars! They were $5.99 off of $6.99. So I was like, um, hello? I mean, I've never... They smell okay. I, would, I never would have thought to get toasted vanilla for a dollar cent beads. I mean, there are like two loads in here, but three, four loads maybe? They got four loads each, but like, can't pass that up. I wish I could go back and get more, but there was a limit of four, so whatever. I got the dog something I meant to show you in the car. My dog loves these. And it was only $15. I could have sworn the one I got last year during Christmas. They These are really good, by the way. They last. Speckles be tearing holes in the toys. But um, these are really good. And it was only like $15. Oh, yeah. It says $15 right there. $15. I swear the one I got last year was like $20 something. I got it around Christmas. And I was like. <laughs> but Papa Day. It's not for you, Mom. You don't even play with toys. Here. Toy. She takes toys from him. Pokey! <laughs> gotta go. He said, gotta go. He loves those toys. He has another one that's just like that, but like it's not the pumpkin spice looking one. It's like a mocha looking one, and he loves it. Anyways, other things that I got. Um, I want ham, so I'm gonna look up a recipe and see um how to make ham because I legit don't know how to make it, but I am craving baked ham. So I got that for dinner tonight. I got some gluten-free mint Oreos. I'm a mint fan. I like mint ice cream. I don't, I don't never had a mint Oreo, but I'm assuming it's gonna be delicious, but they're gluten-free and I really love them. I have the individual servings of the gluten-free ones and they're pretty good. They taste exactly the same. The texture's a little different, but they taste the same. And they even have the um, golden ones as well that I'm gonna try next, but my mom was like, just chill out, Tiana. We don't need all those sweets. And I'm like, you're right, but you're not gluten free. And this is what's making me happy right now. So I did get some things I shouldn't have gotten, but I was so effing excited. I know you saw in the previous clip where they have like the Christmas flavors, like frosted sugar cookie, gingerbread, white peppermint mocha, regular peppermint mocha, like all the good flavors. So I got like two of them because one of the International Delight one had Home Alone on it and I really wanted it, but I'm gonna go back and get it when this is done. But I got this one. It's Lucerin white chocolate peppermint. So I, I oh, even from Starbucks, I get their uh, white chocolate mocha and add peppermint syrup. I don't know why, it just tickles something in my brain. And I can never find the regular peppermint Tarani syrup. I can only find this one. It's the sugar free and I'm not gonna pay like 20 some dollars on Amazon when they have it at like home goods and stuff for so cheap. But I don't like sugar free stuff. I, I prefer not to drink it. I know it's healthier, which I don't think it is, but I just, I can do a little bit of this, but once it starts tasting like that, that, you know what I'm talking about? I just, I can't do it. And then I got eggnog. I was trying to see what, how much, dairy because i know if this one is like the coffee mate there's not much dairy in it it's all creamer is really lactose free really or most not all that's a complete lie but like coffee mate international delight this lucerin one they're lactose free but they do have milk in them but whatever sorry sorry stomach and then i got um an almond breeze we needed that or i needed that i i will never just sit down and drink a glass of milk i'm i'm this hits the spot, but I hope this isn't. We were, I was calling my mom trying to figure out which one was on the recall. Was it Almond Breeze or was it Silk? I hope it wasn't Almond Breeze, whatever. And then I got some turkey bacon. Not a fan of turkey bacon, but I figured I should probably do this. We ended up getting it. I ended up only getting one of them though. I got the fudgy brownie one. Cause I'm like, okay, two birds, one stone. I really want brownies. Thistle this will satisfy hopefully we'll try it and they also had the low sugar chocolate chunk and the regular chocolate chunk one so i might try those and then i got this white bread i like sandwiches and i really want to make sandwich meat so i might try it with this actually tomorrow we'll see how it goes i'm a texture gal i bought these for dinner i'm going to roast these with the ham um i got gluten-free pretzel sticks these were like these Mom. And then I got these. These are freaking expensive. Gluten-free pretzels. 
These were like six dollars. And I was just like, I don't even eat snacks, but I've snacked more now that I'm on this stupid whatever it is. And I ordered the DoorDash. I ordered these just to try them. They are so good. They're salted caramel. I hate salted caramel, but baby, those things taste like um this is gonna sound so weird, kind of like pancakes and syrup. They kind of taste like pancakes and syrup, and it's I don't know, it really hit the spot. All right. Let's put these on the stove because you're being crazy. Then I got the chocolate ones and some apple cinnamon ones. And then I got these. I saw these on TikTok. Somebody was eating them. They weren't even gluten free and they liked them. Wait, it says with cheese. My dairy free isn't going very well. It, it's, it's not going the best. I thought gluten free was going to be the hardest. Dairy free has been the hardest. I didn't see that it was made with cheese. So, I mean, we already got dairy. Tis what it is. But is that it? That was it. And they came up to like $65. And these little fuckers, I thought they were expensive on DoorDash just because they mark them up on DoorDash. They only marked them up a dollar. I think they were $8.99 on DoorDash. These suckers are $7.99 and I got 50 cent off. I was like, pardon? I can get them from Amazon for $5 and some change. But that's from Whole Foods and I, like I said yesterday, $10 delivery. So I'm gonna put this stuff up and then they need treats. They're, they're driving me insane. Let's go give them a treat. You want one? Oops. You want one? Give me! Come me! Let's see. Let's say, let's say, let's say. All right. Give me this one. Mom, you don't like these ones. Oh yeah, you do. You don't like the banana ones. I did it the wrong way. Here, Mom. Come here. See you. <laughs> <sighs> all right let's put these groceries up and also look up a recipe for ham i need to put my hair i need to do something with it it's getting greasy already and it's just like i just got it done wednesday how is it greasy just looking over my receipt and i noticed that he only charged me three dollars for my ham which I don't think it was three dollars. I don't know, but I, I didn't have like a barcode on it. And I was like, I thought I did whatever. He charged me three dollars for that ham. Either way, and this is so funny. Your cashier today was self. Okay, is that sweat? Well, that's embarrassing. Okie dokie. So I still need to look for the recipe, and I forgot I need to put my car on the charge. My car is such a piece of crap. I'm thankful for it. I'm glad I have my mode of transportation. Let's just say that. But. The, um, like the music thing, it's like an aftermarket thing. It's not like the one that, um, the car company, what is it? Like, it's not the car people that made the damn car shit. I don't know what I'm trying to say. They didn't put it in. My dad put it in and it's like not working right now. So I'm going to charge my battery a little bit, even though it's new. I just got it in December. AutoZone warranty. My other battery died. They replaced it for free. I was like, amen. So I'm gonna charge my battery. Why is this not working? But before we do that, I need to record Monday night football for my father. Honestly, no freaking idea what channel it was. I was like, okay, can you give me some more context clues? Like, what do you mean just record it? What time does it come on and what channel? I don't watch football. Is this not the right one? No, I don't want that on. Obviously I don't watch this TV or use it. Can I? Well, hello? No, home, okay. TV, guide, is this the wrong remote? No, oh, this is right, why is it not working? BRB. Okay, so you got my brains. I did baby, it's a little baby. He looks like he's about to die lately. I don't know why, record. Edit options. Is that recording? Cool. I used my big brain cells off. Yes, sir. All right, so that's recorded. We're gonna go, and I say put my car on the charge, put the battery in my car on the charge. I don't have like no fancy car or nothing. My car is old. So I'm just gonna put the battery on there to see if it works because typically when the battery is about to die, the little touch screen music screen. What the fuck? What is it called? That little screen, it doesn't work, but. I said baby. I just said baby. Oh, take it for the easy. Um, 
it typically goes out but when i was out the other day i accidentally left something plugged in and i think it kind of just messed up i need to get a bigger battery for my car but it was free and i don't want to buy another one this one was free anyway i'm gonna go figure out how to do that and then find a ham recipe and i'll be back when we're cooking did you smell crack when i was good did you smell crack when i was good you didn't shed? Why you didn't shed a quack? <gasps> oh, there's another one! There's two! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Hi, 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 hi! Oh, I do not want to be a productive human today. I'm just glad I didn't have to get my allergy shot. I don't know why. I just hate getting it. I hate going up there to get it, I should say. Okay, I gotta go. I love you. Oh, you want more pets? Oh, this is my old lady. This is my old lady. How cute are you? Where's your new toy, Papa D? You don't like it? I mean, thank you, but damn. Oh, mom. Okay. It is so hot, I don't wanna go outside. <gasps> so, I found a couple recipes that I think I can do, I don't have, it. they're all calling for like um, pineapple juice or orange juice. I have neither, but we have these fruit cups with mandarin oranges, so I'm just gonna use that. I don't know, but basically these recipes are saying just like, I'm gonna combine a couple of them. I'm using one from All Recipes and I Heart Nap Time. Um, I'm just gonna combine kind of both of those and I saw another one that had clove and I know when my dad makes it he makes clove or puts clove in it so I'm gonna add the ham to this thing hmm. I'm just gonna go wash it get it in here and then I'll be back what an odd angle you're at can you see okay cool awesome I don't mind the junk back here so I'm just gonna pour these let me see yeah that'll do I don't know I'm just gonna pour this on there I literally have no idea what I'm doing, so please ignore me. If we had pineapples, ooh, oh! Well, the texture of those are horrendous. I shouldn't have eaten one. My God. Okay, so I have some ground ginger. I don't know why this sounds right, but is it coming out? Oh, me. Okay. So a little bit of that. Now, I don't have whole cloves. We only have ground cloves, so I'm gonna do that. And then, oh, I gotta preheat the oven. Okay, I just turned on the oven. I don't know why I wanted ham. Ever since I started this diet, I've wanted ham, so I'm doing that. Okay, I'm gonna stick this in the oven. There's, on the recipe, what does it say? Let me Bake on 350 for 30 minutes. are amazing like I this is brown sugar and this has been in there for probably a month or so and it's still loose it's actually it's actually not waterproof what is it called airproof airtight so whatever oh, girl I don't know what I'm doing bye I just exported all of my footage and it's an hour long i'm like okay i was trying to make like a 15 minute vlog what are you talking about so i have to go through that and then i just remembered at 6 30 i have to have a meeting with my teacher i don't i don't understand he is a computer teacher and he really loves his job and 
I have to have a meeting with him. He has a meeting with all of his students. And the fact that I don't need this class because I've already taken a similar class, but I took it just so I can have the knowledge. I'm like, go me. I currently have 138% in the class. As soon as those actual grades start hitting, it's gonna be rough. But always do your extra credit, kids. Always do your extra credit. In my other class, I have like a 90 because of extra credit. Do your extra credit. It's always easy for the most part. Just do it. So um, yeah, I'm gonna start editing this video, do my homework. Girl, I'll show you what happens with the ham after. What's this potato looking like? I need to do something with this potato before it goes bad. So I might make some potatoes. I'm gonna make dinner and then I'll see you. So I've been editing my video and I realized that I hate absolutely every single thing that I have recorded. So that's so much fun and i'm just like you're so fucking boring you talk so much about nothing and it's i'm getting in my head a lot about it when this was supposed to be fun and i shouldn't be getting in my head about something so simple so i don't know i am currently being a studious queen trying to oh she hasn't opened up any more modules what hello one of my teachers hasn't opened up anything past the 14th and it's the 16th today. So if she could do that, that would be great. Um, how odd. I wonder if she knows. Anyways, I'm going to go figure out, I have tons of homework to do. So I'm going to go do that and then, oh, I just I wish I could get out of my head. This is why I couldn't do it. Besides it just being too much with editing, I just got really lazy, but I just can't get out of my head like you're just so freaking boring like people watch vlogs because people are doing things not sitting down and talking about nothing so so i just went out to check my car to see if the radio was working yet it's not so it wasn't the battery i don't know what it could be i think my dad's thinking about an alternator or something but i don't know i just want a new car so bad i want a new life Okay, whatever. Do you like your toy? I told him you liked it. Hi, girl. See, he loves it. He loves these toys. I'm sorry. Where's your new one? Wow. Look at you. Wow. Look at you go. You're so strong. Wow. I'm sitting here waiting for an email, I guess. Our meeting starts, or, or meet, whatever. Our meet starts at 6. I thought it was... 6.30, so I'm glad I looked. But he's not, he didn't send me a link or anything for it. Once you sign up for your meeting, I will send you a Google Meet link. Oh, did I delete it? Shit. Uh, shoot, 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 shoot. That's Yahoo. Where's my Google login? I always delete his emails because he sends 500 emails. It's like of him changing dates and Oh, it's so irritating, so I just delete them. I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked up. Update, it's 6 p.m. and I cannot, I cannot find it. Oh my God, I fucked up, I fucked up, I fucked Oh, I'm sure he's gonna take points off for me being late. But he sends like 800 emails, bro. It sends an email. That scared me, oh my Jesus. Jesus Lord, that scared the shit out of me. I decided to be a big girl and email him because one, 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 hello? Meeting today at 6 p.m. Hello, I do not see a link for the Google Meet. I do not see an email with the link for the Google Meet. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Update. I found it. Whoops a doodles. I actually legitimately hate looking stupid. And I sat there and went through all of my old emails. I emailed this freaking man. And 2.5 seconds later, I went back into the <sighs> I went back into the actual meeting that I scheduled in my calendar and it was right there. I was like but it wasn't that bad. He was a nice man. Yeah, my food's done, supposedly. Let's see. Oh, well, uh... 
I, I messed that one up, didn't I? Mmm. Pretty good. Maham. I'm so freaking excited to eat this. Oh my God. Yeah, I didn't make the potato because I just, I can't do it. I can't do it. So I'm gonna eat and then do some homework and then I'm gonna call it a night. If you made it to the end of the video, I love you so much. This was so boring. I'm gonna start holding myself to doing things that I like because I don't have any more hobbies. And I found out that the older you get, the less you have hobbies and I need hobbies. And I absolutely love recording myself. I love it so much. So I'm gonna try to stick with it. We'll see how it goes. And yeah, I'm so excited to eat this fucking ham. It's a little bite. It's a little bite. We'll see what it tastes like. But anyways, yes, again, bye. See you in the next vlog. I really wanna do a what I eat in a week with this diet so it can hold me to like actually eating real meals so anyways okay i'm done bye update sorry i just have to come in at the end to say that this teacher is absolutely fucking nuts and i love him with my whole heart we just had that one-on-one -on -one meeting why do i have to take a quiz bruh what the ham also doesn't taste like my dad's but it's pretty good